So what we're going to learn today is finding a missing number in an equal ratio. So in my previous video, I taught you how to find out the equal ratios. But today we're going to do something different with equal ratios. So let's get started with the first question. 5 is to 15 equals to x is to 30. So we have two ratios. So our we have to find out the x value. Let's do equal ratios because there's an equal sign here. So what so what our first step is we're gonna write these in fractions. So five is to fifteen, which could be five over fifteen. And then how we're gonna write this one? X over thirty. We always have to remember that order is important. So 15 and then it turns into 30. So 15 times 2. So 15 times 2 equals 30. So we're going to do 15 times 2. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other side. So we have to do the same thing. It's going to be times 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. So this one is going to turn into 10. So, remember I told you in the beginning of the video, I mean, in the beginning of this question, we have to find out the x value. And we did. Is It, it is 10. So our answer is x equals to 10. So our x value is equals to 10. So we found our other x value. Here, let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. 5 is to 15 equals to x is to 30. So we have the same question. So our x value is 10. So we can put 10 here. So 5 times 10 is 5 times what number is 10? 2. And then 15 times 2 is 30. So we get the so these two are equal ratios. So if we write in fraction, it will be more clear. So I prefer that you do it the fraction way. So now let's move now let's move on. Next question. X is to 18 equals to 2 is to 6. First let's write it in fraction form. So it's gonna be x over 18 equals to 2 over 6. So 18 and it turned into 6. So we can divide. So 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Now we're going to do x divided by 3 equals 2. So what number divided by 3 we will get 2? 6. So this x is going to be 6 and then our x value is going to be 6. Or otherwise we can do the opposite way. I'll show you. x over 18 equals to 2 over 6. So we can do the opposite way. 6 times what number is 18? 6 times 3. And we have to do the same thing to the top. So 2 times 3 x equals to 6. We still get the same answer because our x value is 6. So we can do it any way, like from left to right or right to left. Now we're going to write like this. So x is 18. This is so 18 equals to 2 is to 6. So, so our x value is 6. We can put 6 here. So, 6 divided by 3 equals to 2, and 18 divided by 3 equals 6. See, we get the same answer. 
See, these three equal ratios. We divide by three, same here. So if we change this sign into a multiplication sign, So it's going to be 2 times 3 equals 6, and 6 times 3 equals 18. So we can just do it anyway. And it's still equal ratios. So I hope you understood how to find a missing number in an equal ratios. In, a, in an equal ratio. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye!